I'm Dr. Nicola Freeman. I am a pediatric ophthalmologist and I happen to have a special interest in pediatric glaucoma. I'm working at Red Cross Hospital in, in Cape Town and so I tend to see all the pediatric glaucoma here at Red Cross Hospital. Patients, a, a pediatric um, glaucoma patient has a, has, is not, ha, doesn't have an easy, easy time. They have to come to hospital fairly regularly um, for pressure, che pressure checks and most children with glaucoma end up going to theatre several times um, for, for various surgical procedures and especially when they're little, um, if we can't get them to cooperate for an, an examination here in the clinic, we have to take them to theatre for an examination under anaesthesia. So they often go to theatre many, many times. And that can be quite stressful for both children and parents. Adult glaucoma, patients walk around without knowing that they have glaucoma. But in paediatric glaucoma, in little infants and in babies, there are symptoms. And one of the most important symptoms is epiphora, which is tearing, excessive tearing. Another sign is light sensitivity or photo photophobia. Um, also the cornea, this glassy part in front of the eye that's used for, fo that's part of the focusing equipment of the eye, may become glassy uh, or, or, or uh, matted glass in, in appearance or white. Um, later the eye might start to enlarge because under the age of three or four years old the globe is able to stretch if the pressure is too much inside the eye so the eye actually enlarges. So that might not be noticeable if, you, if the glaucoma is present in both eyes but if it's present in one eye the eye might start to appear larger than the other eye so that's a sign that some parents notice as well. Those are the, ma those are the main and most important signs that parents can look for. One of the most useful websites to go to, to look for support groups, would be the Childhood Glaucoma Research Network. Childhood Glaucoma Research Network. Mm -hmm. and if you search that, you'll find a very, very good website that will put you into contact with many support groups for paediatric glaucoma, um, patients and parents. First, the mathematics surprise. I can I can I can remember I can recall many pediatric glaucoma patients that have that have achieved great things. Um, they're often very special children because they've had a lot of attention from their parents and from everyone around them. They they tend to turn out to be very special children. 